what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel where we have this question on the board which says find the value of x for which the fourth root of x plus the fourth root of 97 minus x is equal to 5. well our first step towards solving this question would be for us to say let this first expression which is the fourth root of x be equal to a now i need to get rid of this radical and how do i do that it is simply by raising both sides to the power of four so i'm going to be raising this left hand side to power four in order to remove the radical equal to i also raise the right hand side to power four now notice that the power of four can cancel off the fourth root so leaving behind x to be equal to a to the power of 4. Now, our next step will be for us to rewrite this expression given to us. So, rewriting this expression, I'm going to be having a, remember that we said the fourth root of x is equal to a. So, this is a plus, plus the fourth root of 97 minus x. And what is our x? x is equal to a to the power 4. So I'm going to be writing a to the power 4 here, equal to 5. Our next step will be to move a to the right-hand side, leaving behind the radical on the left. So I'm going to be having the fourth root of 97 minus a to the power 4, equal to 5 minus a. Now, let's get rid of this radical by taking the fourth power of both sides. So I'll take the fourth power of the left. I'll also take the fourth power of the right. Now notice that the power of 4 will cancel off the fourth root, leaving behind 97 minus a to the power 4. Equal to, now on the right hand side, I'm going to be applying binomial expansion. So applying binomial expansion, I'll be having 5 to the power of 4 minus 4 times 5 to the power of 3a plus 6 times 5 to the power of 2a squared minus 4 times 5 to the yes that's just 5 a to the power of 3 and then lastly plus a to the power of 4 so this is the binomial expansion of the right hand side so let's go ahead and simplify further. So I have 97 minus a to the power of 4 equal to, now 5 to the power of 4, I'm going to be having 625 minus 5 to the power of 3, that is 125. 125 times 4, I'm going to be having 500. So this is 500 a plus, now 5 to the power of 2, I'm going to be having 25. 25 times 6, that's 150. So this is 150a squared minus 4 times 5, that's 20. a to the power 3 plus a to the power of 4. Very good. Now let's move everything to one side. I'm going to be moving everything to the right hand side. And when I do that, when negative a to the power 4 crosses, it becomes positive here. So, a to the power 4 plus a to the power 4 gives 2a to the power of 4. Now, let's go ahead and write these remaining items. So, we have minus 20a to the power 3 plus 150a to the power 2 minus 500a. Now, plus 625. Now, remember, moving 97 to the right-hand side it becomes minus 97. So this becomes 2a to the power 4 minus 20a to the power 3 plus 150a to the power 2 minus 500a. Now 6 to 5 minus 97, I'm going to be having 500, which is plus 528 equal to 0. So we are doing well this is also equal to zero because i've moved everything to one side now you notice 
that 2 can divide through. So let's go ahead and divide through by 2. So this becomes a to the power 4 dividing through by 2 minus 10a to the power 3 plus 75a to the power 2 minus 250a plus 264 equal to 0. Very good. So we have a quartic equation. And in order for us to solve this quartic equation, I'm going to be using the factor theorem to do that. So a minus 2 is a factor. I tried that and it worked. So a minus 2 is a factor. So dividing this expression, which is this quartic equation, by a minus 2, I'm going to be having a to the power 3 minus 8a to the power 2 plus 59a minus 132 equal to 0. Very good. And now, look at what I have here. I have two factors. I have this and I have this as well. Now, notice that this is a cubic equation, which we can also factorize. Also, using the factor theorem, you notice that a minus 3 is a factor. So I'm going to be using a minus 3. I've already got a minus 2 here. I've already got a minus 2. Now a minus 3 is a factor. Now dividing this cubic equation by a minus 3, I'm going to be having a to the power of 2 minus 5a plus 44 equal to 0. Now notice that we have a quadratic equation. Now, let's go ahead and check if we're going to be having a real solution here by using the discriminant. So, what's the discriminant of this? So, discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So, looking for the discriminant, I'm going to be having b squared. b is negative 5, so negative 5 squared minus 4 times a. a is 1 times c c is 44 so this becomes negative 5 squared i got 25 good minus 4 times 1 times 44 i'm going to be having 176 so in the end you notice that this value is larger than this so the discriminant is negative so there is no resolution here so i'm not going to be using this no real solution from here. I'm going to be sticking to these two cases. So you notice that a minus 2 is equal to 0 or a minus 3 is equal to 0. For the first case, a is equal to 2 and for the second case, or a is equal to 3. Now, let me show you something. Remember, that we said x is equal to a to the power of 4. So now let's go ahead and substitute the value of a so that we have the value for x. So I'm going to be writing recall that we said x is equal to a to the power 4. For the first case, when a is equal to 2, so when a is equal to 2, so x is equal to 2 to the power of 4 and this is equal to 16 and when a is equal to 3 which is for the second case so x will be equal to 3 to the power of 4 and that is equal to 81 so we have two values for x x is equal to 16 and x is equal to 81 well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.